hear that? It's Pip the Savvy Sapling's footsteps. Crunching along the leafy ground as he wanders through the dreamiest parts of Snuffle Peep Forest. Here in the sleepy world of Mashi. Pip is a cute little woodland moshling who loves going for moonlit strolls through these enchanted woods before going to bed in his cozy treehouse home. walking over shimmering, silvery leaves and glowing twigs. You see, this part of Snufflepeep Forest is known as the Electroplasma Zone. And when night falls, everywhere begins to glow and glimmer with special moshy energy. The trees light up as if they are covered in twinkly fairy lights and their bark turns to an electric blue color that pulses with life. Picture Snuffle Peep Forest now. Imagine you're walking with Pip. Listen as your feet sink into the soft, glowing leaves. Mossy ground and fragile twigs with every step you take. continues walking, he looks up and sees moonbeams slicing through the thick forest canopy above. Exotic moshy birds are singing twilight songs and long, elegant vines hang down from above like strands of neon. Glowing, swaying, dancing. They are every color of the rainbow. And every one of them has some kind of light energy pulsing up and down. Up and down. being surrounded by an electrified coral reef of dazzling colors. Pip is taking care as he walks because right now he's approaching what's known as the Snuffle Peep Kaleido Garden. This magical wilderness is an area deep inside the forest that's teeming with extra magical plants and bushes. The ground here 
is blanketed in golden leaves that sparkle in the starlight. There are fewer trees, so you can see countless stars glinting in the sky above. And as they gleam, they beam their twinkly magic on the amazing things surrounding us. Tropical looking plants and flowers that glow in the dark. Ultraviolet leaves. Power pink flowers. Twisty tangerine vines. Tie-dyed multicolored chameleon moss that covers the twisted tree roots poking up above the ground. And look, when Pip walks near the moss, it shimmers and cycles through countless colors. Pip is now wandering through an archway of electro-lilac mosteria. This beautiful flowering plant winds its way around trees and other woodland things. And at night, its long, hanging blooms glow like magic lanterns. This little archway in the woods is festooned with moshteria. And if you look up, thousands of flowers are dangling, swaying in the evening breeze and casting their lilac light on the path ahead. A path that is leading Pip to his second favorite place in the entire forest. Glowing Gorge. This deep valley it's like a big crater in the forest. And if you walk around the edge of the gentle slopes that lead down to it, you can just about see the legendary river of rainbows flowing down below. twisting through glowing gorge. The water of this magical moshified river is lots of different colors. Reds, blues, yellows, and plenty of shades in between. From majestic mauve to crushed orange. Magical clouds of moshified vapor rise off the water below. These colorful vapor clouds form different shapes, and as he walks, Pip watches the clouds undulate 
while they drift slowly upwards. Changing shape as they rise into the dark, velvety sky. Pip gazes at the clouds as he walks. Some of the clouds turn into shapes that look a little like his moshling friends. <gasps> See? That one looks like Mr. Snoodle, the silly snuffler. It even has a cute snout. <gasps> and there's another one that's shaped like DJ Quack the Disco Ducky with two little round wisps. That could be his headphones. leaves glowing gorge, he spots a patch of neon technicolor toadstools. There are hundreds of them, twinkling in the moonlight. And they gently chime as he walks past them. Some change color as their caps open and close like little umbrellas. Open and close. Open and close. Pip would love to stay and watch this hypnotic toadstool show. But he needs to head home. He thinks about which way to go and decides to go through the little village of Twinkleshire. As Pip approaches this cute woodland village, a shooting star briefly illuminates the giant, lazy, hazy daisy chains. Festooning the little wooden huts ahead. It must have been a Mushling's birthday today. Or maybe they were celebrating harvesting a bumper crop of gooberries and star flowers. Either way, this sleepy village looks magical. As Pip's little feet crunch over pieces of moist bark, he notices glittery dust is speckled everywhere. That can only mean one thing. That the nearby sparkle dust trees have showered the village in sparkle dust. And they only do that when they know that tomorrow is going to be a really beautiful day. This makes Pip feel very content and fuzzy inside, and it puts a big smile on his face. Best of all, it's not far now to his favorite place in the whole forest. His little tree house home. And he's feeling pretty tired thanks to all this walking. 
it won't be long now till Pip's tucked up in bed. But let's carry on walking through this magical, mushy forest until we drift into our own dreamy world. Good night.